Hello friends and gardeners, Mickey and Kathy with you again. And today we're out here planting tomatoes. Now I got started yesterday evening on a few, but as you can see, I've got plenty more to go. Now, you might think that these are a little bit tall, which they really are. They should have been planted three or four days ago. But from the timing of when I went and picked them up, it rained the next day had to wait about three days before it to dry up. And then we had a late frost about two days ago. So I wish I could have got them out a week ago, but they're gonna be fine. Once, once you get them planted, and if you plant them deep enough and remove some of the foliage on the bottom, it's gonna have no problem taking off roots, keep it watered, it will take off. So we wanted to, to I wanna show you exactly how I plant my tomatoes. Um, I've been asked year after year after year after year. So today we're gonna do a video and I'm gonna show you step by step of how I plant each tomato, each pepper, each cucumber. And the key to it is our compost. Now we use our chicken manure and we love our rabbits. We have plenty of rabbit compost that we mix in with it. We mix in our carbon with leaves. We mix in our nitrogen with green grass. We keep that churned up and it makes excellent compost. And I'm gonna add fresh compost, but when I say fresh, it's still about three or four months old. But I'm gonna add fresh compost to each plant that I plant. And then there's another secret that I use. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope the content's gonna be helpful. As far as planting tomatoes, the way I do it, I always have great success. Now, anything is possible. We could have a hail storm tomorrow and it wipe out every one of them, but that's just part of gardening. And uh, also, I'm gonna show you some salad that I'm gonna pick. We're gonna go to our permaculture asparagus. I'm gonna show you how I uh, harvest the asparagus and bring that in for lunch and it is delicious. So if you'll hang with us, I'm gonna show you all my secrets that I know as far as planting tomatoes. And if you'll follow along with how I do it, there's no doubt you'll have success. Here's a trick that I learned. And see, that's a, that lid, that's a wide mouth jar and it fits perfect for this auger. And when you're getting it drilled through your hole, put your feet as close as you can to that hole. Because if you don't, it's just gonna drill the mound up under the landscape fabric. That is some loose soil. 
should be. I've been working on it a few years. Come close, I'm gonna show you the example that if you don't put your feet close to it, watch how it builds up under here and it's gonna raise that tarp. See how it mounted up under it? That's why it's important to keep your feet close to it so the dirt will come on the outside. That was my last old one. So now I have to dig that out. Look at that big old green slimy worm that popped out of that hole. Look at there. Woo, that's what we're talking about. Go right on back in there. Okie dokie. touch that tip it will be warm I've removed the soil once I drill that out even though it is good because I've been mixing compost with this now for about four years but I take that soil out and I go back in with some fresh compost and I also go with my worm castings and I do every hole exactly the same way handful of worm castings make sure my hole's not too deep. I'm gonna press it down just a little bit because you don't want a lot of air pockets down below where the roots are gonna get grow to. So let's get us a plant. I'm gonna remove these lower limbs because they're not gonna be necessary. That one's probably gonna go, but just not right now because I don't wanna shock it taking off too much it'll go in a few days now I'm going to go back with my great compost I'm going to fill in around that tomato plant and right before I get completely enough I go back with another handful of worm castings and I'll throw that in there and I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to press it down take out all the air pockets try to keep the tomato plant straight Don't want to press it too much, just enough to get the air out of the soil. So that's ready to be watered in. Next one. Same thing, repeat. Good way, bud. Lost. So we're just going to repeat the process right back to the next one, then we're going to go right on down the line. I'm not sure I'm gonna get, I've got 18 in this tray and I believe I'll get 18 in this row and then we've got two more rows to go. We're gonna have maters this year. We hope, good Lord willing and little rain and sunshine. If we can manage that, we'll handle the rest. Putting some fresh compost into the bottom where the roots are set. Handful of worm castings. Now we're ready for plant. Now aren't those just beautiful plants from Martin's Country Greenhouse? They have beautiful plants.
here we are out here in our permaculture asparagus bed and my goodness we're gonna have some fresh asparagus tonight so I want to show you how I cut it when the sprouts are a little bit tall I still go ahead and cut them close to the ground and then cut off the bottom whatever is not very tender but I always cut it down next to the ground there's some tender asparagus right there that's just beautiful and then here's our purple asparagus I want you to look at that my goodness that is some good eating nothing like fresh asparagus Well, okay guys, there you have it. I've got another complete row of my favorite tomato jet stars. And I uh, just planted 18 in this row. We have 20 in this row, two different varieties. We have room for 12 more tomatoes we're gonna get out for a total of 50 tomato plants. So hopefully that's gonna be enough tomatoes for our farm market and for all the canning that we're gonna do. Uh, I want to say that I've talked about this before as far as the ground cover. We do use the ground cover year after year and I've used it as much as five years before it starts to deteriorate. But for this video of the how to as far as my secret, the way that I plant the tomatoes, we started with new ground cover because I wanted to show how I burn the holes and how I drill each hole. It's a lot of a lot of work but it really works well and I think that if you'll uh, give that a try that that you'll have success with your tomatoes and everything else that you plant but I just want to I want to emphasize the nutrition in growing your own food if I don't use any fertilizer we've talked about this before I use no fertilizer it's all compost the different compost we have and the worm castings and I know that we're not adding chemicals into our plants or our produce. And that's very important as far as the nutrition value. Now, I watched a documentary just a short time ago. And if, if you want, let me know in the comments, leave us a comment and I'll add a link for that documentary. But it was talking about the nutrition value of the top 74 vegetables that we eat today. And these scientists did a 50 year study and compared to vegetables of 50 years ago to today, the vegetables have anywhere from 25 to 74% less nutrition, vitamins, and all the things that are beneficial for us. And it's a pretty lengthy documentary, but it's, it's worth watching. The, the other side of it is there's actually only four companies that make all of our seed, produce all of our seeds for the whole world. And in Israel, they're doing a study with a particular tomato that they have bred more, more or less over the years. And they, uh, they don't name it, it's a, it's a number. It's, uh, that's how they identify it by number. But the tomato that they have now is 21 day life shelf sitting on the counter in your kitchen. It'll sit there for 21 days before it begins to deteriorate. 
Now, they looked into the nutrition value. It has no more benefits than any other tomato that you can get as far as any other type of seed, but it has a longer shelf life. And following the researchers through this documentary, at the end of it, it talks about the price of the seeds for that particular tomato. And it, I couldn't believe it. But $455,000 per pound for those tomato seeds that have a 21 day shelf life. So that's just uh, incredible to me. If you, can, if you can save your own seeds, it's just more beneficial. The nutrition value is gonna be much greater than what you can buy at the store. So I just wanted to add that, that uh, I found that documentary very helpful. And as you can see, we've got our tomatoes almost planted. I have 12 more to go for a total of 50. So we hope we're gonna have some great success with our tomatoes. Follow along with the next video that's coming out and we're gonna show you how I plant some more vegetables and we're gonna take you through the process of how these are gonna be trellised. We're gonna use an electroculture basket for our front row. And then I'm gonna use my favorite trellis which is a pole and strings with tomato clips onto each plant. Now these jet stars, I will sucker them as I go. The other tomatoes, they are determinate and semi-determinate for the Bradleys. So we're just gonna let those grow into the baskets. So I, I hope you've found this content helpful. Um, once again, I believe if you'll follow the way I do it, you'll have great success with your tomatoes. We'd like to say to our subscribers, thank you for supporting our channel. And if you're not a subscriber, if you enjoy our content, find it helpful, subscribe to our channel and help support us. And we'll have another video coming out soon. And thank you for watching.